join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action wing collectors, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. We're looking at Kit Fisto in his snow or cold weather gear. We looked at Plo Koon just a couple of weeks ago. These two characters both are representative of a comic book that was released during the period of the Clone Wars um, airing time. Um, didn't make it to episodic form, but they were made into a comic, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, so we have Kit Fisto on the card back. So you can see a little bit of the comic there. It says, Kit Fisto fights to free the snow-covered world of Korm from Separatist control and regain access to valuable resources. Fisto and fellow Jedi Plo Koon fight the battle droid army and a native warlord in league with the Separatists. Fisto wears crampons to move easily over ice and goggles to protect his eyes when from blowing snow. <laughs> so then he can have his goggles in his... Which I'm just learning now... I'm sure I've read this before, obviously, but the shoes are called crampons. What an interesting name. And of course, they look kind of silver on the picture there, but they're not. See your Clone Wars Adventures Online game. Some other figures we've looked at. We've looked at Sacy Teen. We've looked at Serapas. Uh, Captain Rex here is on my list. I don't have the uh, jetpack that he comes with. Stealth Ops clone. So yeah, we'll get that out of the way. We'll move that to the back. We'll get a look at the little battle game card as we try to every time. A little picture of Kit Fisto at the top there. Nice sort of 3D render. What he might look might have looked like in the episode. Just the instructions to the battle game there, nothing too exciting, but that's cool. We'll move them to the back. We'll take a look at the figure. I've always liked this. This I keep wanting to say Plo Koon. I've got him on my mind. When I, when don't I though? Really, let's be honest. Kit Fisto, a cool looking figure. Again, does come with the goggles, which are removable, but they sort of clip onto the side of his head there. And sort of natural little divots in his head. But I like that as a feature. I thought that was quite cool. But I like him with it, with the goggles sort of sitting up like that. I think that looks cool. You get to see his eyes and he's a little bit of a smirk there. I think that looks good. I think probably my only little gripe was that the head was all sort of sculpted in with the uh, with the hood that sort of wraps around. That's all sort of one piece. Uh, initially, it sort of looked a little bit funny, um, but you know I've grown to accept it. You know, I could take that off and I don't know put another kid fisto head on there if I wanted to. I suppose if I really wanted to, but it's all right. It's fine. Uh, obviously, his lightsaber. And then the uh, the ice shoes, which, you know, like we said, crampons. <laughs> Being from a country that doesn't have snow over 99.9% .9 of it uh, ever. You know, it's not just something we, we don't learn about, really. But nice details on the outfit. I love the sort of... Just the little nooks, nicks and stuff taken out of the, the fabric as it sort of wrapped around his leg. Sort of frayed and tattered a little bit. I think that looks really cool. Sort of go up. Do sort of, sort of purpley, purpley coloured jacket. And got the little Jedi symbol there on his chest. So even though 
Hasbro didn't have a true sort of 3D model to design this off of. Maybe they did, um, but in terms of basing it off a comic book design, you know, I think they did a pretty good job with both this one and Plo Koon. Sort of sculpted pants there on the top half. Again, just the sculpt on Kit Fisto's head there. On all his head tails, tentacles. Looks really good. So we'll go through the articulation. Obviously, there's just the uh, the ball joint in the head. So given that that's one piece, it kind of limits the articulation a little bit. But again, it's fine. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders. They're a nice sort of tight joint just because he's got those sort of bulky, bulky sleeves at the top. But they sort of slide under there nicely. Just It does make the joint a little tight. Ball hinge in the elbows. Sort of just gets a 90 degree angle there. Just a swivel at the wrists. A swivel at the waist there. Swivels at the hips. Ball hinge at the knee. No ankle articulation for this one. As I, as I stated a number of times, you know, the Clone Wars didn't always get the ankles. Um, I know there are some people out there that would probably prefer that today. Just to allow a little bit of extra room for the pegs. A lot of the foot joints are done a lot differently these days in 2024. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the good old peg test. And uh, yeah, I don't, most of these Clone Wars figures were pretty universally good with the pegs, few and far between where they they didn't fit. There you go. It's not going anywhere. You can do that. Yeah, it falls off. Yeah, sure. But again, these crampons. It's not something you want to have to go and ask for at the supermarket. There's Kit Fisto in his cold weather gear. Another one of those cool little side parts of the Clone Wars collection just offered that something a little bit different every now and then. And that's what I like about the line. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Please drop a comment down below. Got any requests for Clone Wars characters you'd love to see have an updated review here in 2024? Please let me know. I do appreciate you sticking around each and every week for Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We'll be back next week with a yet undecided but open slot. So I hope you can join me for that one. We'll see you then. Till then, may the Force be with you.